Hello and welcome back to Character Boil Battle Royale. Today we will be doing Batman vs Superman, my favourite heroes from their respective, um, you know, companies. You know, Iron Man is my favourite Marvel character. Batman is my favourite Marvel heroes. Right. So Iron Man vs Batman. I'm not going to go too in depth with it, into them because. Um, screw attack them set screw attack alone with death battle. I've already covered Iron Man once and Batman twice. Oh yeah, yeah popcorn. Anyway. Um so uh just go watch the videos on them to just like get a more in depth look at them, but I'm just gonna go over basically, you know, the main things that'll be um a factor in this. So Iron Man, he has uh, an AI called Jarvis, which uh, um, can send him any suit he wants at any point in time. It does take a minute to, um, for them to get to him because you know it's not literally instant, but it is very quick for them to get to him. Like it, you know, like barely any time at all. He, you know, he has um, several. You know, there's the um, iconic Iron Man armor, which he has several iterations of. Um, I don't know exactly exactly how many. I think he's on four or five. I don't know. Um, off the top of my head. Um, and then he has a symbiote symbiote suit, which is completely immune to any EMPs. Um, and is basically is the strongest suit that uh, you know, not the Hulkbuster. You know. The Hulkbuster is strong, you know, it can punch hard and everything, um, but that's the only way it's stronger. The Hulkbuster, as the name implies, was literally made to, uh, you know, b beat the Hulk. And, uh, yeah, it can contend with the Hulk. So, yeah, that is one of the strongest, strongest suits he's got. Um, and again, any of these can be called upon by Jarvis whenever Tony Stark needs them. Now we have Batman. Uh, the main two things we'll uh, uh, be talking about today is his utility belt and uh, his Batmobile. Now uh, that's just an image of, I think that's a recent iteration of the Batmobile. Um, so the utility belt, um, it, uh, don't take this to be like exact because the utility belt has changed several times in why it does and does not contain. Yeah, but there's always uh, you know the classic stuff like bat grappling hook, uh, batarangs and stuff, and then you just have like extra gizmos, just like whatever Batman needs at the time usually. Um, but I don't think there is any EMPs to my knowledge. Um, which is one of the things that will mainly help Batman out here. So the utility belt will be of some help because you know he has smoke bombs, batarangs, which batarangs won't do much, um, and uh, um, so he has some stuff that will help him like distract Iron Man. Um, but I don't think he has anything in that utility belt to put him down. For good. Now the Batmobile is different here. The Batmobile, like the like the Bat Utility Belt, it has changed several times. Uh, you know, for, you know, uh, you know, it's just been changed several times. Actually, my face might be coming now. Anyway, um, and uh, in uh, and uh, I'm going to give Batman this one iteration specifically. And um, there is uh, certain iterations of the Batmobile where if he gets in it, he can change it into a um you know like suit of armor like iron man's um i think that was i've i've seen that in the in one of the animated series i don't know exactly how common that is but i do know that is a thing that has happened so that so i'm just going to give batman the ability to change his batmobile into like the batmech or whatever it's called um but really, that's the only thing he will be having real access to. I mean, he does have a bat truck, bat helicopter, 
bat jet, bat boat, um, you know, bat everything pretty much. Um, but he doesn't have any real way to call upon them. Um, he has no AI at um, the bat cave to send them out. And uh, um, I really don't think there's any real way for Batman to call um, most or any of them really. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. It he could like there could be like some like the odd episode in an animated series where he presses a button and like it comes to him. But like with you know uh, you know most of the time he usually won't have access to them and it, uh, um, it's not a thing that is you that he will usually utilize so we will not be factoring that in um so yeah who would win in the fight batman vs versus iron man uh, i almost said superman then um anyway so batman versus iron man Iron Man wins. This would simply just turn into a war of attrition. Who could uh, survive the longest against the other? Um, because this is this is how it would go. Let's say Batman's in his Batmobile, just like tracking down some folks or whatever. And I guess how starts beating up some folks. Iron Man comes across him, just like makes a quip about how um, how he's a vigilante that dressed like a badge and you know all that you know just usual Tony Stark kind of stuff um, and it, uh, you know then they get into a fight um, Iron, Man, uh, Iron Man would pretty much just dominate Batman um, Batman's main weapon the Batarangs would not really do anything to him I mean there would be the exploding ones I do know he has used in the past which really wouldn't do much being as the Iron Man suit has been hit by a tank shell and fallen to the ground and got back up without any problems and then blew the tank up. So, yeah, I really don't see Batman, uh, you know, himself being able to even put a dent into Iron Man. Unless he goes EMPs, but like I said, I don't know of any time he used EMPs. So, um, he so he's not got any EMPs. So his best bet would to use a smoke bomb and uh, distract Iron Man. Um, and I really don't think that would even work because I think Iron Man could just like switch to infrared. But let's say he did work. Let's say. Um, Batman distracted ba Iron Man long enough to get to his Batmobile and change it to change it to the Bat uh, Mech or whatever it's called. Um, then he would have a fighting chance against uh, Iron Man. But here's the thing: Iron Man can fly the Bat Mech, to my knowledge, cannot. So it would be a grounded Mech versus a very mobile, and bear in mind this is a big heavy mech, so a big heavy mech, probably comparable to the side, just a bit smaller than the Hulkbuster I would say, um, versus a very much more mobile Iron Man suit. Uh, yeah, Iron Man would just be able to fly up in the air and, uh, um, you know, use his pulses to um, hit him. I don't think it would do much, and I think he would just get bored and call in the Iron Man uh, Hulkbuster suit. And then just uh, the Iron Hulkbuster suit would just overpower the Bat Mech, and uh, then you know, Batman would either die in the Bat Mech with like Iron Man just like punching through the um, bit where he sat at. Or he would uh, just narrowly escape, at which point, yeah, he's just dead because Iron Man has m homing missiles that he could just use, isn't it? There's a mul there's multitude of ways that Iron Man could just kill Batman straight out. Um, uh, but, yeah, it's... A, uh, and I know what people are going to say if anybody else wants uh, but Batman is so stealthy, he can sneak around whatever he 
essentially gods in this universe. And it's like, yeah, Iron Man has fought gods. His best, you know, he's fought four in the, the Mark One suit and did decently considering it was Mark One. And again, he fought um, Hulk, who is stronger than Thor, um, as uh, uh, Matt Pat from the Game Theorist has proved using their uh, past feats in the comic books. So, yeah, and especially being as in the comic books, Thor is a literal god, where in the DCU, Thor is not actually a god, so... Yeah, but, you know, Superman's not a god. He's godlike, but he's not exactly a god. Um, yeah, I... And that's just... And that's not to say that Batman would have, you know, just be completely stomped by Iron Man. Batman would definitely pull up a... Would definitely have a fighting chance, even without EMP, because, you know, distraction, and if he got up close... I don't think he would be able to overpower Iron Man, but, you know, say he managed to get Tony Stark out of the Iron Man suit. Um, you know, just for you, uh, being smart and just, uh, tricking Tony somehow, even though Tony's, uh, one of the smartest people in the MCU, or, Mar or in any Marvel Universe, really. Um, then he would have, uh, then he would just trial Tony Stark. But that's Tony Stark, not Iron Man. Um, so unless he and let let's say, for sake of argument, he did have some sort of EMP in his uh, uh, utility belt, that would shut down his Iron Man, uh, the first Iron Man suit. Uh, then he would just then the Tony would just call in the, the symbiote or. Um, uh, what's his name again? I've actually forgotten the AI's name. But the AI would just, um, call, you know, send out the symbiote to just, oh, uh, he's got EMP to just send out the suit. And uh, then, yeah, Batman, wouldn't, for a minute or so, Batman would have Iron Man completely defenseless. Is the thing, though. Uh, a Batman would have to punch through the Iron Man suit to get to Tony Stark. And even without its power, the Iron Man suit would definitely be able to withstand anything Batman has in his utility belt, or any punch, kicks, or throws that he could throw at it. I mean, he would be able to move it, most definitely, but he wouldn't be able to crack the suit and get inside. At least, not before the simi got to him. Like, let's say he got in the Batmobile, turned into the Batmech, and then use the bat to mech to try and punch through it. Uh, he would probably be able to break through it after a few hits, but by that, but by the time he breaks through it, the symbiote will be there, and then Iron Man would have an EMP-proof symbiote suit, which would be able to uh, destroy the uh, bat mech probably, thanks to its um, more uh, maneuverability and uh, the, the fact that it is quite powerful. I mean, obviously not as powerful as a Hulkbuster, which can uh, uh, punch through a building, but still powerful enough to take down the Bat Mech. So, yeah. So, the winner is Iron Man. Now, tell me what do you, what do you think. Do you f who do you think would win, Iron Man or Batman? Um, and why do you think they would win? And not just because, like, uh, Batman would win because he's, um, he's so dark and gritty. So, actual reason why he would win. Uh, why one would win and the other one would lose. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you want a more in depth analysis on their abilities, what they can and can't do, and their history, and go to Screw Attack or like one of the other, like, there's probably like a ton of people who have made videos about to them, like the, you know, an analysis of them by now. And uh, there's no way I could do it better than them because I just simply don't have the time, the resources, or the uh, care to do as much in depth research as they have. And I couldn't do it better than them anyway. So, go watch somebody who can do it better than me. And, uh, um, 
yeah, I'm just doing this because I haven't seen anybody really talk about this much. And I can see why. I, when I first thought of this, I was like, yeah, this could actually be a fair fight. But then I looked at it and then I just thought about it for like half a minute. And it's like, wait. No, he would just completely trounce Iron Man. But by the time I had done that, I already got in the entire power pa PowerPoint set up. And then I was like, oh. Well, I was like, I have a waste. Uh, you know, scrap this and just waste all that time I spent design uh, doing this. Or do it anyway, but just make it. But, you know, just have it be like one of the most unfair fights ever. But anyway, I'm. Uh, I'm curious to uh, see what you guys think, so I'll see end this video off here. Bye bye.